What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Real Fan Sports. My name is Zach. I'm here with my partner, Nonfiction. What's good with you, brother? Man, I'm chilling, brother. How about that? How are you doing? I'm living my best life, man. We got a great good. reaction video today. Something that we've okay. done before, but it's been yeah. recommended to us to do it again. And I also find it fitting to do it as, you know, Cricket is coming to our side of the, uh, the, the pond okay. for the ICC <laughs> World Cup. So this is going to be Cricket Explained for baseball fans. So hopefully this will <laughs> okay, okay. kind of tighten up some of the things we might have been a little confused about still, and we'll have a clear image going forward. Let's check it out. All right, let's get it. Cricket Explained if you already know baseball. All right, to get this started, I want you to imagine a game much like baseball, except there are only two bases, and they're basically where home plate is and where the pitcher's mount is. To score a run in this game, you simply have to reach the next base. So if you put the ball in play and you make it to the pitcher's mound, that's a run. And then if you're able to make it back to home plate, then you score two runs on that play. This game is played in the middle of an oval, so there's no foul area. You can hit the ball yep. behind you, you can hit it to the side or whatever. And in this game, the pitchers are allowed to bounce the ball. If you can picture this game in your mind, I wonder how many people in the comments didn't like that they he said pitcher and not bowler. I wonder how oh, oh, you are. They, right get, they get so <laughs> mad at us if we accidentally say pitch. <laughs> but he's he's trying to reference it as if you're a baseball. Yeah, we, we get it. Yeah. You are 75% of the way to understanding cricket. The rest of it is details. Before we get started, cool. I just want to say that we're I'm chilling be right now. Explaining this like I would to <laughs> a friend of mine who knows baseball and wants to know about cricket. I'm probably going to be switching between baseball and cricket terminology a little bit more freely than maybe somebody who's a hardcore cricket fan might be comfortable with. Feel free to correct me in the comments, but what <laughs> would be more knows. fun is if you made a companion video that explains Absolutely. baseball in reverse. All right, let's get started. Oh, that'd be that'd actually be cool. interesting. I kind of want to see. Cool. I kind of want to see that. Does anyone know of anything yeah. like that? But yeah, uh, same same with us guys. If there's something that he explains that could be explained a little bit differently or worded a little bit differently, put that down in the comments. That way we get a clear understanding of everything going on. Dude. I like the basic video. gameplay. So cricket Absolutely. is a game played between two teams of eleven players. When a team is fielding, all eleven of its players are on the field at the same time. Nine players are out in the field at the various positions, and then there's one bowler who is basically the pitcher, and one wicketkeeper, who is basically the catcher. And then the team catcher. that is batting has two players at bat at any given time. These batters stand at opposite ends Except of the rat. pitch, which is a narrow rectangle that's in the middle of the oval that is the cricket field. At the ends of the okay. pitch are two wickets, which are these little structures that have three stumps and two bales. The stumps are the three pieces of wood that are in the ground, and the bales are these two little pieces of wood that rest on top of the stumps. A play begins when the bowler, which is basically the pitcher, bowls the ball to the batter. The bowler is ultimately trying to break the wicket, which would get the batter out and see that more pass? Out I mean, you see that ball? Is trying to protect the computer's, the my computer's going all crazy. Yeah, hold, we're just gonna fly. I know this is an instructional video, but we're just gonna fly fly through that like that. That that bowl, he was a side he was a sidearm thrower. That was crazy. I never seen Bowls we haven't seen nothing like that before. To the batter. I was like, the bowler is right ultimately there. trying to break the wicket. Which would get oh, the batter like out. I like his approach. And more on that line. Who's like that guy? The so is come below. Who is that guy? <laughs> and put the ball in play. If the ball is put in play and the batter and the teammate are able to switch places. So basically, yeah. assume and the other one's do position. Is down, the team has scored yeah, a run. They can and if they do that again, then right. they score two. Yep. And if they do that again, they score three, etc. The bat's an extension There are no the strikes in cricket. The batter can just choose not to swing if they don't want to. And there's no penalty for hitting a batter with a legally thrown ball. Batters are expected oh. to protect the wicket and not let themselves get hit. In fact, as we'll oh see in a little God. bit, there are actually situations where a batter can be called out if they allow themselves to be hit with the ball. There is the equivalent of a ball in cricket. It's called a wide. And if the umpire oh, okay. has determined that the bowler has bowled the ball wide, one run is awarded to the batting team. There's also something that was one thing I didn't know. I don't think they explained that yeah, before. I don't think I've seen that at, at all. 
not with okay. name videos. How so. how frequent does that happen? Is that is that a normal occurrence? I mean, they seem to have very good control. So I mean, I would assume that it's same yeah. with like baseball. Whenever they just have that crazy wild pitch, they need to go super high or super you know out. So it's like probably yeah, would, one yeah. one every you know several hundreds. But yeah, I think it's definitely very rare, very rare probably. Thing in cricket called a no ball which is when the umpire Step has determined that the ball has been delivered illegally. And there's a couple dozen different reasons why an umpire might call a no ball. If the umpire calls a no ball, just like a wide, one run is awarded to the batting team. Yeah. In cricket, the batters stay on the field until they are out. So they continue to bat and score runs until they are put out. This means that just like in baseball, a batter can be out with Before? one single yeah, swing of the bat, mm -hmm. or they can stay at bat, I guess, I guess forever. But it's common for a batter to score between like 20 and 50 runs in an at bat, and it's not okay. unheard of for a batter to hit 100. This is called a century. I was really curious of that, you know, because we've seen a couple mm -hmm. centuries and stuff like that, but no one's ever told us like what the average is. Like, you know, we know yeah. that that's cool, but that just sounds cool because it's freaking hundred. Like that's insane, yeah, ex exactly. you know, for, for us to, to compare, especially when, you know, when we look at cricket, we, you know, we think of baseball, we know it's different, but that's what yeah. we compare it to. So the yeah. average is like 20 to 50. So like 20 to 50 is what you kind of expect when you go up. So they're mm -hmm. doubling over doubling the average. And then in the video we did uh, recently with Glenn Maxwell, where he got 200. Uh, yeah. That's just is, un unworldly. Yeah. Got it. You're okay. in a, a league of your own, basically. <laughs> yeah. And it's very fun. The it's boundary. very fun. Along the perimeter of the cricket field is the boundary. boundary. This can be a rope or a little cushion type thing or it could be a short fence or a wall when a ball is put in play and it reaches or goes past the boundary that is called a boundary a ball that rolls and hits or passes the boundary or bounces over the boundary like a ground rule double is worth four runs for the batting team a ball that is hit over the boundary so basically like a home run is worth six runs for the batting team sixers sixers Bouts. There are several ways that a batter or runner can get put out in cricket, and they boil down to two basic categories. A batter can be caught out, which is just like baseball. Okay. They hit a ball in the air and a fielder catches it. Or they can be out if the fielding team knocks the bales off the stumps of the right. wicket when you are in Those a position. Are so cool. oh. these, these are some of my favorite highlights. There's a few of these different here. ways this could yeah. happen. You could be run out. This is where you are trying to score a run but they knock the That's ball so into cool. the wicket before i'll tell you one thing that we still really need because a lot of people said that our best cricket catches video was not a great video so someone yeah click yeah. that referral link in the description and send us you know your favorite top whatever catches in cricket that way yeah come on we want to see the good ones we don't we don't want to be fooled one. we want to see the good ones or you reach the crease that defines the place where you are safe. By the way, the bat is part of your body yes. when determining whether or not you are safe. You I can love be bowled the out, both diving. and these are very <laughs> right. exciting. This is where the bowler sends the ball to you, and the ball bounces past you and knocks the bales off the stumps. A batter can also be put out by the wicket keeper if the he batter like, moves yoink. past <laughs> this line here called the popping crease, oh. and the wicket keeper gains possession of the ball and. Okay, I didn't know that. So if yeah, they yeah, if they yeah. try to step if they try to step up to go and swing at something and they miss and the catcher grabs it and they're past the uh oh they just said the name of the line I already forgot yeah. but they go across and they're already past that line they can they can throw it at the wicket and knock them out. Okay, mm -hmm. stumped out. Okay, knocks the bales off the stumps. This is called being stumped out. A batter can also be called out if they allow the ball to hit them. And the umpire determines that the ball would have knocked the bales off the stumps if the batter had not interfered with their body. This is called a leg before wicket. So those are the most common Still ways LBW. that you will see a batter or runner get put out by the fielding team. There are several other much less oh. common ways oh. for a batter to get out, and we will not be getting into them here. One we, 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 we might have to look we might have to look at some top uh stump outs, bro, because some of yeah. those like that one they just showed right there, that was some yeah. cat like reflexes. <laughs> very true, very true. I'm with it. Your difference between baseball and cricket 
is in cricket, if the fielding team thinks that they have gotten a batter or runner out, they first have to appeal to the umpire who will confirm whether or not the batter or runner is out. So if a batter or runner would be out, but no one on the fielding team notices it, then play just continues and the umpire will not just like... Mm, okay, wait... <laughs> Oh, so you, you can't just be going off and celebrating. You got a point. And that explains yeah. in a video that you might have just seen. Our boy was going like this. Yeah. <laughs> Before he was like, out? truly Is it celebrated. Out? Is it out? Is it out? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> out. So if a batter or runner would be out, but no one on the fielding team notices it, then play just continues. And the umpire will not just like call them out. When a player is put out, the bowling nope. and fielding team is said to have taken the wicket and the batting and running team is said to have lost the wicket. Okay, so bowling team. I, wonder, each, I want to hear that terminology again so we can use it. So in, if, in you're the, like if you're that, the bowler. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I was going to say in a moment like that where they're both going, if the, the batter at this moment, just so bear with me, if the batter interferes with that throw to hit the wickets, is that like an interference call? Can they interfere with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, say they're reaching forward and it just happens to hit their, you know what I'm saying? That's the bat. a good is question. Is that an interference call? Is that a is that part of the game? You know, oh, it's an accident, or they're automatically out. That's a good question. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm American. I think about something. No, else. no, no. That's a good question. I mean, well, I mean, that happens in that happens in baseball too. Like, you yeah. know, if they're, if they're yeah. throwing towards home, they might hit someone crossing second and third, uh, yeah, and you know, they're certain. And, it's yeah. just part of the game, right? Interesting. It's don't let us know. Um, all right. So, so if you're the if you're the bowling team, then uh, let's see what they taking said. It's called the wicket. It's called and taking the, the batting wicket. and running team is said to have lost the lost wicket. It. Okay, that's lost simple enough. Overs. Each series of six pitches or deliveries, which are called balls, is called an over. Each over has only one bowler. And each bowler only bowls one over at a time. So after a bowler has delivered six balls, they take a position in the field and another player comes in to be the bowler for the next over. A bowler can Gosh, field six. for an over and then come back to bowl again, but a bowler may not bowl two consecutive overs. If you're comparing this all to baseball, overs mm, okay. are similar to individual at-bats in terms of the flow of the game. Right. It's like okay. one series of deliveries that everyone's watching. And then there's a brief pause while a new player comes on. And then there's a next set of deliveries that everyone's watching. Oh, the difference, okay. of course, that, is that. That makes it makes sense because we see, you know, cut up highlights. So for yes. us, it's the same person over and over and over. But mm -hmm. and then a couple of games I've seen, I didn't get a chance to watch the entire. I was able to sit down and watch the whole game. So, OK, if, if that part makes sense to me because I was I was definitely had some questions about that, but that, that explained it really well yeah, right there. Because I know our first cricket reaction or cricket explain video that we watched. This was one thing like I just could not understand. I don't know if it was just yeah. the wording and just how it was like going in my head. Everybody was like, oh, are you stupid? It's not that hard. It's like, I know it's not, but I just, I, I, for whatever reason, I couldn't figure out this explained it so much to where it's like, Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. I am stupid. The all I think, all right. I, think <laughs> I, I wouldn't even say that you're stupid. I think the fact that where Nan explained it from, it was from a person who probably watches cricket. So right. he's, he explained it from people who have watched baseball and it just makes more sense. Mm -hmm. So, and so in this instance, so like they said, uh, you know, they may have a preferred bowler. He'll, he'll bowl his, his six, one over. Yeah, yeah. And then they'll have someone come in. Is it typical that they'll just swap between two? They'll just swap between two bowlers the whole entire time? Is that common? Oh, yeah. That's a good that, question. That's, that's also what I'd like to know. But it's the, the bowlers, the pitchers that are coming in and out and not the batters formats beyond everything that has been explained so far the majority of the details of the game that you watch will depend on the format of cricket that you're watching there are two basic formats mm, of the game of those. cricket there's All first day. class cricket and there's limited overs cricket first okay. class cricket is what a lot of people think of when they think of cricket we're talking about the yeah. games that go on for several days everyone is wearing white Maybe the queen shows up. That's what's and always first class always in movies. Is most yeah. associated with every the time. five day long test matches that international teams play against one another. They're scheduled for five days, but they might be completed before that. At the beginning of the first day, there is a coin toss to determine which team goes first, and then okay. the sides alternate going through their entire batting order. 
this happens twice. So each team goes through his batting order twice for a total wow. of four innings. Unless the team that goes second scores more runs than the team that went first. In which case, they don't have to actually finish their entire innings. They just win the game. That was... I want to hear oh. that. I want to hear that one more time. I think I got it. But I want to hear it one more time. Through their entire batting order. Right. This With happens whole batting order twice. twice. So each team goes through his batting order twice for a total of four innings. Unless okay. the team that goes second scores more runs than the team that went first. In which case, they don't have to actually finish their entire innings. They just yeah, win okay, the game. It's just, that was just like very night. simplified. Yeah. The yeah. rules governing test matches could be their own 15-minute video. The other format of cricket is limited overs cricket, where each team is limited to a certain number of overs. And each innings comes to an end when the specified number of overs has been reached or when all of the batters are out, whichever comes first. There are several types of limited overs cricket, but there are two that you are most likely to see. The first of these are the One Day Internationals, or ODI. These are played ODI, between national yeah. teams, and each team has 50 overs. And then there's also T20 cricket, which is 2020 cricket, where both teams get only 20 overs. This style of cricket was invented to be more exciting and more fast-paced. Cool. Mm -hmm. And to put the length sense. of an individual match around the same as other common mm -hmm. sporting events around the world. Goodbye. An easy way to know whether you're watching a test match or a limited overs match is whether the teams are wearing white or colors. And if you are watching okay. a professional match, you're almost definitely watching a T20 match. Okay. Schoolkeeping. Interesting. Okay. All right. That'd Pay be very attention interesting. because yeah. this is maybe the most confusing part of all of this. The scorekeeping. So at the bottom of the screen, you'll see yeah, it says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's, let's lock in. Let's lock in here. <laughs> <laughs> he says, this might be the most confused. I need to lock in. I got to make sure the brain is working. <laughs> all right. I think we're good. Good. Let's do it. Yeah. Confusing <laughs> part of all of this, the scorekeeping. So at the bottom of the screen, you'll see it says India. And then it says 118 for five. This does not mean that the score is 118 runs to five runs. No, this means that India has scored 118 runs for five, five. wickets, which means for that five, five of their batters have been put out. Then it says first innings. So this is the first innings of this match. <laughs> then it oh, says positive. England two. The, the first time I seen a cricket matchup and I seen the score and I was like, what the hell? They get their ass whipped. <laughs> Because I didn't know. I just I was like, they're good. It's like 125 to 15. Yo, the, the, the great thing is, too, because I, I haven't got to watch any live ones yet, but whenever yeah. we do the reactions and I see that, I'm always sitting there. I'm like, dang, why are these scores always so lopsided like that? So lopsided, and, yeah. And I'm sitting there yeah. thinking, well, because we've done reactions to got people that are putting up centuries and stuff like that. I'm like, I'm like, oh, well, I guess maybe it, like they just hadn't caught up yet. Like, it, you know, <laughs> they'll catch up in a second. <laughs> like, goodness, was that wrong? Why did the game to begin this yeah. part? Absolutely. If wickets, which means that it has scored 118 runs for five wickets, which means that okay. five of their batters have been put out. Then it says first innings. So this is the first innings of this match. Then it says England 287. So that's how many runs England scored in their innings. And since this is a okay. test match, both teams will ah. play two innings. Then you've got information about the two batsmen that are currently up and how many runs they've scored so far. Then at the end, it says broad zero for 24. This means that broad, the bowler, has taken zero wickets so far and has allowed 24 runs. And then the 15 o'clock okay. over there, that's just the time of the day. It's 3 p.m. Now, for a limited overs match, there's... Yo, that would have confused the heck out of me. I'm not going to lie at the clock over there <laughs> if he would have said that. And I love how he says, yeah, that's the time of day. It's 3 o'clock. It's like, oh, <laughs> shit. All right. All right, but that, that definitely makes definitely makes a lot a lot more sense now looking at it. Now, whenever we do it's, our reactions, you know, we'll be able to understand. Maybe you're all right. We should have been done this video. <laughs> Well, it's that too, but also like for you, for for people that aren't American to understand, like when we look at that, that is a whole other language to us. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. we're we're trying to learn, and I know you guys are like, oh, well, it's easy. Well, you grew up with it. You know what I'm saying? You grew up with it, so it's different. But for us, it's like that could just be, that could be 
like Chinese font in a, or a Japanese font <laughs> right. in anime right now, and I don't know what the heck they're saying. So hey. I like the way he broke it down and make it just it explains it better. Yeah. Hey, look, and it's easier to learn when you're younger, bro. We're, we're getting older now. Oh, yeah. Our, our brains don't be, <laughs> do, you know, them cogwheels don't be rolling like they used to, brother. <laughs> yeah, my, my brain don't work that well. I play games with my phone to keep it cracking, but they don't hey, work you're that right. Well. <laughs> A little bit more information that you need to know. So here you go. Down at the bottom, it says England. This is another game between England and India. It's a women's game. So it says England 103 for four. So that means that they've scored 103 runs for four wickets. P2, don't worry about what that means yet. Then it says 24.3 of 50. That means that we are 24 overs and three deliveries into this innings. And then the fifth. Okay. So 24 overs. I think. And three, I okay, so they have that was that mm-hmm. that was like that twenty four point three or something similar to that. And I was like, "What does what is that? Like, why is it a point three? Like, I didn't get it." But now, okay, okay. So, it. is there is there a certain amount of overs for the inning to end, or is it just they go through all their the all the all the uh, batters? Well, didn't he, didn't he say that earlier? That is, I think so. Of? I'm not sure. Well, it's, it's, this is one of those videos where if you if we're truly trying to learn about it, we're going to have to watch it more than one time because there's so yeah. much information in one thing. I know people, you know, like I said, people are like, oh, it's 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 easy. Yes and no. There's parts of it that's very easy to catch on quick, but there's other parts we just need to watch again to just make sure we're connecting yeah. the dots. Processing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So he said 24 or three. Just Wickets. Say it again. P2. Don't worry about what that means yet. Then it says. 24.3 of 50. That means that we are 24 overs and 24 three overs. deliveries into this innings. And then the 50 okay. means that so the innings, this innings will have at most 50 overs, right? Because this is a one. Okay. He did, well, he just answered. I just We just had to wait 30 more seconds. So <laughs> then three into their over at most this can, this inning can have 50 or 50. they can get, or they can get, uh, be thrown out. And I'm, and, I'm not sure how many outs they need or or how that works. So maybe they'll explain that too, or maybe we missed it. We'll Monday go back international. <laughs> then it says target two twenty two. This means that India went first and scored two hundred and twenty two runs. So that's how many runs England has to score to win. And from there, it's pretty much the same as the test match we just saw. Just be careful because if you're watching an Australian broadcast, the scores are reversed. The wickets are first and the runs are second. So on this one, it says See, Ren, that's the Renegades, that's one of the teams, <laughs> five for 135. So it's five wickets for 135 runs. So just be careful, it might be confusing. Some final similarities and differences. All right, that's basically it. I thought that we would end this video with a few more similarities and differences between baseball and cricket. One major difference is that in cricket, if a ball is in play, the runners are not compelled to move, right? You only run if you think you can make a run. One similarity is that every cricket ground has different dimensions and a different shape. And much like in baseball, this means that certain cricket grounds are more favorable or less favorable to different play styles. Another difference is that in cricket, the positions refer to... Yeah, those are very different. Yeah, oh, they are very different. And uh, so I was going to say, I've watched, I've, I've started watching some more Kruger Re- React videos, some other Americans React Kruger, yeah. just to get some idea of the things that we can learn too. And uh, this was the thing that everybody says is the hardest thing in the world. So I'm going to take a <laughs> screenshot of this. But yeah, these are all different positioning points that they can mm-hmm. be at. This, that's, yeah, that's it, a lot. That's a yeah, lot. It's places a lot. <laughs> on the field and not necessarily the individual fielders. So, if baseball had a similar thing, like you would not be the shortstop for your team, yeah, you would just be yeah. a fielder who would be playing shortstop position. And then, if your team was in a shift or whatever, maybe you would be said that you were in the second base position, or maybe right. for one batter, you would be in the <laughs> shallow mid outfield position, right? Another similarity is that in cricket players on field and off the field behavior is governed by an old fashioned sense of propriety. That's not Mm -hmm. unlike the unwritten rules in baseball. And the Mm -hmm. final difference that's probably become clear to you as you watch this video is that cricket is a much more international game than baseball. I don't mean to say Mm -hmm. that it is more popular in more countries than baseball, although this might also be true. What I mean by this is that international competitions, so competitions between national teams, are the norm 
They're not like mm. a special yeah. thing that everyone tunes into every four years. Cool. Professional cricket yeah. so, is yeah, a relatively for us, it's, new phenomenon. It's the Olympics, you know what I'm saying? Right. Olympic, nat- and while and leagues are like becoming that. much more yeah, popular definitely. these days, it wasn't very long ago that professional cricket was looked upon as diluting the purity of the game. All you right. know what? Mm, I, ki- I kind of felt like that, but I didn't know how to say it. Like if people yeah. looked at it differently because, you know, they say, you know, like you said in the beginning, you know, but in any movies you saw test cricket, any movies that had yeah. anything involved cricket, you saw test cricket. And then yeah. now you have all these different forms, these short forms in these professional leagues. It's like you wonder, like, if it takes some of the old school unwritten rules of like class and stuff like that, because yeah. you know, back then, even they used to wear the sweaters and all this stuff. Now they got like more of an athletic shirt and stuff like, yeah. uh, you know, different things. Interesting. It's, mo- it's modernized. 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 Yeah, that's a good word. Yeah. Baseball fan, you have just become a cricket master and you are ready to watch oh, any cricket need, game that I comes across your television. So put on if the you are a Man. cricket fan and you notice that I got something wrong, which I probably have, or that I left <laughs> something out, which I probably did, feel free to let me know in yeah. the comments. Keep this Although, on like playlist. I said before, Keep it might be playlist. more fun for yeah, you to I just am. make your own companion video. I would love to watch a video where an actual lifelong cricket fan tries to explain cricket for baseball fans or tries to explain baseball for cricket fans. You I know, really wouldn't know if someone um, did that because that'd be really cool. Yeah, if, if somebody did, please let us know. But I will say this. Of all the videos that we've seen so far mm-hmm. from somebody who grew up in my first my first real love for sports was baseball, this was the best explanation I could have watched. So if you are out there and you are a cricket fan, but you have you have friends who, who play baseball or like baseball, don't mm-hmm. show them anybody else. Just show them this one first. Because this one is the most trans it transformative language where we will understand better. Because the Absolutely. Nin one was good, but we still walked away from that confused on some parts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I would say this one is the one I would I would give like show to people. You know, this I, would I, this would be the one. Absolutely. I, I like I said, I, I kind of regret not uh doing it yeah. sooner. You know what I'm saying? Like we were like, oh, yes, we don't want to yes. we were like, we don't want to be like one of those people that's just trying to hunt for views and like doing another <laughs> how to play, do cricket. But uh sure enough, this was good. So appreciate everyone. There's a lot really of people good. that recommended really it. And I believe the person that recommended this to us did not have a name added. So uh but thank you for uh recommending this video for us once again. Um appreciate you guys. Love you guys. We hope to catch y'all on the next one. Cheers. Subscribe Peace.